back in the lineup. It's uh, exciting. Just you had good chemistry earlier in the season with Mike Green. How much does that help when you have to jump in cold like this? Yeah, I think uh, I'll be playing with Greener, um, and uh, he's been he's been really good for us this year. So. Uh, you know, he'll help me a lot. I mean, he's, had, he's helped me a lot this year, so I'm just looking forward to getting back and uh, trying to catch up the game pace. What are some of the keys when you haven't played for a while for stepping right back into the lineup? What are some um, things you try to do right from the start? I guess just uh, try to make sure you make some easy plays right from that um, and try to stick to the system because the system will take care of us. So, Especially myself after being out for uh, quite some time. I just have to go uh, play my game and uh, maybe just try to get my, my feet under me so I can match the speed. Brendan, how disheartening was it to be pulled at such a key part of the stretch and sit for the first part of the playoffs? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I went through it last year, I uh, in the first two games, and I thought I responded well by coming in and playing uh, really good hockey, and arguably some of my best hockey was uh, last series. So um, I think I'm built for the playoffs, and I think that's uh, kind of uh, the competitive nature I have in, in, in myself. And I think it'll, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do well just by playing uh, my game and uh, trying to make sure that uh, I, I do <coughs> I do my job and do it effectively. So uh, that's what I'm looking forward to go out there and play. How much do you think your, your skating ability can help against this uh, quick team? Well, I think their strength is your speed in the transition. So if, if I can uh, help help out in that area and make a play so they don't get those chances and also maybe close gaps, uh, it will for sure help. What have you seen from watching from the outside?